students. So you should have read already and taken your Cornell notes on chapter 2, section 1, pages 38 to 45. We are going to be learning about using light. Our essential question, our daily question that we're examining as we talk about light is how does light allow you to see? So taking a look at this picture at light entering our eyes, how does light allow you to see? All right, so you should have read about the definition of a wave. So you're listening and you're writing this down. So looking back in your notes, a wave is a disturbance that transfers energy from place to place. So we're looking at how energy is moving in a wave. What's energy? Energy is basically the ability to do work. Right? So when we're talking about waves, we're looking at how energy is moving. An example of a wave, if we think about a water wave that is passing underneath a raft, it lifts, lifts the raft. So if we look at this picture right here, this little man in the raft, and the waves move the raft. So the energy in the water and the waves move the raft. Can you think of any other examples of waves that can transfer energy besides waves in the water? Think about that. Mrs. King is going to elaborate. Or Mr. Knox is going to elaborate. <laughs> oh, you're in luck. You almost had Mrs. Kim there. Woo. All right, so what carries a wave? What carries a wave? Well, a, a wave has to travel through a medium, okay? And a medium could be anything. It could be a gas, it could be a liquid, it could be a solid. And, and as Mrs. Alleman said, there's, there's uh, ocean waves, uh, there's sound waves, there's electromagnetic waves. And if we talk about sound waves, sound waves is a great example of a mechanical wave. And a mechanical wave has to travel through a medium. Like I said before, medium is any solid, liquid, or gas. Now, you're able to hear my voice because uh, my voice is a mechanic wave. It shakes this air, shakes this air, shakes this air, and it shakes the air right next to your eardrum, which causes your eardrum to shake. Sound also can travel through water, too, or liquids. If you've uh, ever been under the uh, uh, pool and cracked your knuckles, okay, you know that you guys can hear that knuckle crack uh, underwater as well. So sound can travel through air, sound can travel through liquid, and sound can travel through a solid. If you put your ear next to the desk and tap it, you guys can hear that tapping through the desk. So sound can definitely travel through through a solid as well. Okay, and we call these mediums. Okay, what uh, uh, what a wave travels through. Now those are mechanical waves. We are going to spend the rest of this time, though, on electromagnetic waves. And electromagnetic waves do not require a medium. So, how do waves transfer energy? They transfer energy by vibrations. Both mechanical and electromagnetic waves transfer energy through a vibration. And you guys know this if you've ever been in a car, uh, your mom's car at a stoplight, and you hear another car come up. This is the boom, 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 you know, next to you. Uh, you'll notice, you'll, you'll hear the music, but uh, if you notice in your car, things start to vibrate or shake. So what's happening is that sound waves is transferring that energy, and uh, that energy is, is causing the stuff in your car to shake. So that's how uh, waves transfer energy. It's through vibrations, okay? All right, can you explain, if you guys look at this picture, can you explain what is happening to the water molecules when the pebble hits the water? Pause this, write this down, or think about it, tell your mom, and we'll get back to you, back to the video here in just a second. All right, welcome back. Now we're gonna be talking about the properties of waves. There are six properties of waves. The first one is amplitude. If you look at the picture here, amplitude is how high the wave is based on its baseline or, or uh, the, uh, uh, this, this line of stillness right here. It's how tall the wave is or how far it goes down. This is amplitude. It, it's how tall how tall, or how, how much uh, shorter the, uh, the wave goes up and down. Crest. Crest is the tops 
of the waves. If you look, look right here, we got the crest, we got the crest, we have the crest. The crest is the top of the wave. So the trough would be the bottom part of the wave. That We got the trough, we got a trough, and we got a trough. Okay, now the wavelength, the wavelength is uh, a spot on a wave and a corresponding spot on the next wave. So it could be a wavelength. Most, most scientists measure wavelength from crest to crest. However, however, you can also measure it from trough to trough if you wanted to. But like I said, most scientists say it's crest to crest. Okay, um, so wavelength, wavelength. And the wavelength could be short, if you look down here, short wavelength, or it could be a longer wavelength, longer, longer wavelength. And depending on how long that wavelength is, if it's a short wavelength, it's what we consider a high frequency. If it's a long wavelength, it's considered a low frequency. Now, this gets us into speed. All electromagnetic waves travel at the same speed, which is the speed of light. Extremely fast, mind-blowingly fast. Okay, but they all travel at the same speed, which is speed of light. The difference is some have a very quick wavelength, some have, or sorry, a very short wavelength, and some have a very long wavelength. So, I don't know if you can see, some go up and down, whoop, and some go up and down slowly. But they all travel at the same speed, um, they just have different frequencies. So those are properties of waves. And here is Miss Kim. I don't think Mr. Knox was demonstrating being above the line in his comment. Okay, so what is an electromagnetic wave? Whoops, going back. Electromagnetic waves are waves that transfer energy, but they transfer both mechanical energy, or no, magnet, magnetic energy and electra, electric energy. See, I'm all flustered now because he upset me. It can travel at the speed of light, which is pretty fast, is 300 million meters per second, and it travels a lot faster than mechanical waves. So on a stormy night, you could see the lightning first, and then a few seconds later, you hear the sound of the thunder, because sound waves travel slower than the light wave. And remember, electromagnetic waves can travel without a medium, although they still can travel through a medium. There are seven different types of electromagnetic waves. They are radio waves. Radio waves are located right here, and they have the lowest frequency. They carry the least amount of energy, but you can see that they have the longest wavelength. So your AM and FM radio that you listen to in the car uh, are using the radio waves. Then, a little bit higher in frequency are the microwaves. And you know, we all love the microwave because it heats up our food so quickly. It carries more energy than the radio waves. Then we have infrared. Infrared is heat. When you turn on the stove and put your hand above it, you feel that heat. And infrared carries more energy than microwaves. And Soldiers have infrared goggles so that they can see the heat coming off of um, enemy soldiers and they can see at nighttime. Now right here is visible light. Visible light is what we use to see. Without visible light, we would not be able to see anything. And so that one carries a little bit more energy than the infrared. Ultraviolet rays. Ultraviolet rays come right after visible light and these rays are powerful, pretty powerful. And you've all gotten sunburn when you went to the beach or when you went to the park without sunscreen. And so they can cause sunburn and eye damage. So that's ultraviolet. Then we have the x-ray. You know, uh, we've gotten x-rays done at the hospital and they could penetrate almost anything and they use it to see through luggage at the airports and things like that. So pretty high frequency, lots of energy. Then we have the gamma rays, which is the most powerful, and doctors use these rays to kill cancer cells because they're so strong and powerful. Okay. Quick write. Let's see if you can place these in order and come up with a mnemonic device to help you remember the order of the electromagnetic waves. 
R M I V U X G. The one I have that I use is radio waves. No, racers must increase velocity using extra gas. So if they want to speed up, they increase velocity by using extra gas. They step on the gas. And one thing I forgot to mention is all of these rays, electromagnetic EM waves put in order on this chart right here is called the electromagnetic spectrum from the least frequency to the highest frequency. Thank you.